cancer doesn't discriminate by age. Consider celebrities like Chadwick Boseman, who died from colon cancer, Olivia Munn, who recently underwent a double mastectomy, and of course, Catherine, Princess of Wales, who is currently being treated for cancer. All of these individuals were diagnosed before the age of 50. Dr. Donald Karcher, president of the College of American Pathologists, joins us now to discuss the soaring trend of younger adults being diagnosed with cancer. Doctor, good morning. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, Zach. Thanks very much for having me. Absolutely. Talk to us about what's driving this trend. Well, um, first of all, the trend is very worrisome. Mm -hmm. The rate of cancer in young adults worldwide has been going up about one to 2% per year over at least the last three decades. So what's causing it? Um, there are a variety of factors. There's a lot of research going on to try to uncover those, but they all seem to have mostly to do with diet, mm -hmm. with lifestyle issues, and also with things that young people are exposed to. You know, diet. Mm -hmm. High-fat, uh, low-fiber diets or diets with uh, uh, very high in ultra-processed foods, they're now known to be uh, causes of cancer. Lifestyle things, lack of exercise, mm -hmm. obesity, that's associated with the development of certain cancers. Smoking, obviously lung cancer, but smoking can lead to at least eight other types of cancer. Alcohol consumption is suspected to be a factor. Sunlight exposure, of course, for skin cancer. One of the newer ones is maybe excess exposure to medications. Certain medications that contain certain antibodies, for instance, are known to be associated with cancer, but even maybe exposure too much to antibiotics because of the impact that antibiotics have on the organisms that normally reside in our gut. <laughs> The biggie is exposure to carcinogens. Mm -hmm. These are cancer-related chemicals that are literally everywhere in our environment. And so the sum total of all of these exposures is thought to be leading to this uh, dramatic increase in cancer in young adults. Yeah, this certainly is alarming. Uh, you know, someone who is not 50, uh, whether you are younger than 50, you might know someone, you might have a child. So this is extremely concerning for, for a lot of people. And from my understanding, based upon this conversation that you and I are having, it sounds like some of these, uh, these factors are, are, are choices. Well, they are, of course, mm -hmm. uh, diet, clearly, um, you know, how much alcohol that yeah. we consume. Those yeah. are all choices. You know, some of, some of the things are medications that people have to take. And unfortunately, some of those are associated with cancer development. Yeah. Um, you know, carcinogens are everywhere, so they're hard to avoid. But, uh, you know, many things certainly can be avoided if people are careful about uh, avoiding the things that we know may be underlying this. And of course, with this new information regarding prescriptions and antibiotics, it, maybe it's worth having a conversation with your physician about this concern. Absolutely. You know, um, treatment with antibiotics, very important, mm -hmm. really necessary. But sometimes people are placed on antibiotics when it's not really necessary. And we are worried that that long term exposure to antibiotics may be changing the so called microbiome, the, the combination of organisms in our gut that could be underlying this increased trend for cancer in young adults. Doctor, talk to us about the cancers uh, we can and should be screened for. There's not screening tests for all cancers, but it's very important to be uh, screened for the ones where we do have screening tests. First of all, with breast cancer, this is actually breaking news. Women with uh, normal risk for breast cancer should now start receiving mammograms at age 40. That was just announced earlier this week, so that's brand, a brand new recommendation. And young women with a higher than normal risk based on their family history and other factors should actually start mammograms even before age 40. For cervical cancer, screening with pap test and or HPV screening test should now begin at age 21. Screening for colon cancer should now begin at 45. This is a relatively new recommendation. And if a person has a higher risk, it should start even before age 45. And of course, Dr. Karcher, this underscoring the importance of with early detection with outcomes. Absolutely. The earlier we catch cancer, the better. Uh, early detection is strongly associated with better treatment options and usually with better outcomes. That's why screening and being alert to any symptoms you might have is so important. If we catch cancer early enough, there's a very good chance it is not spread anywhere else in the body, which means it is still very curable. Dr. Karcher, thank you so much for your time this morning. I appreciated this conversation. Thank you, Zach. Great to be here.